There is another case similar to Mel Birmingham. I'm not privy to it, but it's in Quebec. And what's going on? We have another one. And no one is doing anything. So is the government going to talk to the province? Is the province going to talk to the government? No, it's the government's responsibility because those police service officers volunteered to go for Canada under the Canadian federal umbrella. It's the, it is the federal responsibility to take care of those other officers that come back disabled as well as the RCMP officers. I have another sad story, unfortunately. I was contacted by a serving member of the RCMP, Sergeant Brian Kelly. Some of you may have remembered him. He was our first serious casualty in Kabul, Afghanistan from a suicide bomber. He, la he lost a third of his, right, one of his legs. And today, he is injured. He's an injured veteran and he bled. He was the first Canadian RCMP officer to literally bleed on Afghan soil. Not to say that others are not bleeding in other ways. Well, in August 15th is when his tragic event took place and he has not yet received his service medal for Afghanistan. What is going on in the RCMP? They have lost their sense of dishonor? This man has bled for this country and he has not received a service medal for being in Afghanistan. And he, he's filed grievances as to why, but no one seems to want to answer him. And what does that say to us veterans and, and serving members in the armed forces and in in all the police services? It's a tragedy. It's an insult to us all. And in one closing comment, I sent a letter to, Pre, uh, to Prime Minister Harper over a year ago. And I was referred to Veterans Affairs who never answered me. I resent it again. This time they sent me to the Treasury Board. Why in hell did they send me to the Treasury Board? I have no idea. It was an insult, as far as I was concerned. And then they sent my letter to the uh, Minister of, uh, of uh, Public Safety. Still, never got a, a reply from, from the Prime Minister. Matter of fact, uh, NDP uh, MP Stouffer personally handed my letter to one of his staff. Still have heard nothing. And what it was, was I wanted to know why he did not acknowledge the sacrifice that police officers, RCMP, and police services officers are making overseas. And why is that, why is that not on his website? Well, it still hasn't changed because it's not on there. I can tell you I checked just the other day. Anyway, th I thank you again for listening to me. And uh, again, we owe a lot to Brian Dick for inspiring us all to be here. Thank you.